Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at customizing the auto match loudness settings in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Okay, this is the second episode uh, where I show you how to customize these settings. If you haven't watched the previous episode, watch it here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to edit a JSON file, which is a JavaScript object notation file. It's a settings file in your documents folder that tells Premiere Pro what the auto match loudness is. By default, it's set to minus 23. You can change it to anything you want. Premiere Pro reads that JSON file as it opens up. Now, this is a fairly uh, sophisticated feature. If you're just a casual YouTuber, this probably means nothing. But I was contacted by a, a great supporter of Video Revealed, Zoltan, who is in the professional broadcast world, and he uses this feature, but he wanted to tweak and have his own setting. So uh, with a little help from Duran Gleaves over at uh, Adobe, we came up with a way of doing this. This is not a recommended Adobe way of working. This is a way of going uh, you know, behind the scenes and, and uh, tweaking the settings. Let's have a look. So I've got my clip selected here, and I'll set a dialog, uh, set it to dialog, and auto match is, I'll click on that. I, now you can see it's auto match to minus 23. That's the default setting. There's nowhere in this uh, interface for you to change that value like you can do in uh, Adobe Audition. So we're going to have to search for that file. So if we go to our Documents folder, the same on Mac and Windows, I'll go to my Documents folder, my Adobe folder, my Premiere Pro folder, the version of Premiere Pro, profile that I'm using, and in the Settings, Essential Sound, Default, and here are the uh, different sections. Now you can change this in each one of these. So I'm just going to change it right now in dialog. Open that up, and the top one here is the one we want, the essential sound uh, config file. And if I edit that in a text editor, so for me, I'm just going to open it up in Notepad. You can open this on, on whatever text editor you have on your computer, and I'll find model underscore loudness, fine. So if we look within the code here, you can see model loudness is here. And if you keep following this along, eventually you'll see a number. That's the default number that Premiere Pro is reading to make the default auto match volume setting. So if we change this and save this, we now have a new setting. So let's change this to something uh, more drastic. Let's take it all the way to minus 30 and save this file. And now close that up. Let's relaunch Premiere Pro. I'll load my file back in. Go back to my audio workspace, select this as dialog, auto match, and you can see now the auto match is at minus 30 LUFs. All right, one other thing I want to show you is if we go to the, uh, let's go to track one, so let's go to our track mixer, twirl this down, twirl this down, and we can turn on the loudness radar, if I double click on this, this is included in Premiere Pro, and you can use this to check um, whether you're meeting the loudness standard. So you can see we're now at minus 30 LUFs, and we can check that here with the loudness radar. Uh, the loudness radar is part of Premiere Pro CC, and it will uh, give you a radar reading of that. It's based on human hearing. So the loudness radar is not like a typical DB reading. The reason that, that uh, this kind of thing exists is because there have been regulations about the loudness of 
advertisements in uh, broadcast television versus the regular television show. So there are certain guidelines and the loudness radar can help you meet that. All right, so there you go. There's a little backdoor uh, feature of going in and tweaking the, um, uh, that JSON file to change that auto match level. In Adobe Audition, there's so much more customization in the Essential Audio panel, but here in Essential Sound of Premiere Pro, we do have to go back and, and tweak that. But now we've got that uh, feature so we can use that in a professional broadcast environment. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little bit more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And if you're coming from the professional broadcast world, and I know lots of the uh, clients that I, I met with in my former world in Adobe uh, send a lot of their editors out to view Video Revealed, uh, maybe you can convince your boss to uh, support us a little bit more than just watching us here on Video Revealed. There is a PayPal donation button that we really appreciate you pushed for us. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking and sounding